Hey everybody, Eric Brown, Mobile Media, Mobile Media. Hey, I want to talk about a private, just a private, uh, something private about my, myself. And uh, I don't want to make these videos all about me, but I've got to tell my truth because my truth is someone else's truth. And uh, it's about religion. It's about religion. And I don't, I'm not here to knock religion. That's not what I, I wasn't raised that way. I wasn't raised, I was raised in a Christian family. I got a praying family and I love my family. You know, I'm a praying man. I'm a believer. Um, but at the same time, I'm also no fool when it comes to, um, being bamboozled by those who, um, who consider themselves, um, voices of God or vessels of God, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? Some folks do more damage to folks, um, in the church than they do good. And I'm being honest about that. And I'm not basing this on assumptions. I'm basing this on what I see. You know, folks go to church and things because they, they're looking for hope. They're looking for hope. And, you know, you would think that, um, you would think that, 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 man, I got to be careful with this one. I got to be careful with this one. Let me, let me just, let me just put it to you like this. When my grandmother was still alive, I'd never forget going to her home, visiting her home. I would often visit her home in Fort Worth. i never forget, I went back to her room. And I would always sit with my granny and we'd have these deep conversations, man. She was just a wealth of wisdom. But one thing I picked up while my grandmothers were watching, uh, I don't know who it was, man. One of these uh, TV pastors who say, hey, send this money to me and we'll bless you. And send some money to me and we'll send this bottle of holy water and yada, 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 yada. And I'll never and I asked my, my grandmother, granny, why are you watching this? You know, what, why are you watching this stuff, you know? But she told me this. She said she watched it because she doesn't embrace everything they're saying. She picks and chooses what she wants to pick up on and um, and believe or not believe. And, and I can respect that. So this brought up other questions for my grandmother because I was there was a time when I was kind of confused about religion because I was seeing. I was seeing how religion and the church was defined, but then I was seeing how. It was impacting folk, and some of it didn't make sense to me. It didn't make sense to me how, you know, people giving all their money to the churches and that they're still they're coming out worse than the way they went in some of the churches all the time. But I never forget, I asked my grandmother, I said, you know, Granny, you know, as far as believing in, in, in God, you know, what if, what if, like, uh, you know, what is most important when it comes to believing in God and the church, things like that? And I never forget my grandmother told me. Best advice that she's ever, I've ever heard. You know, she says, you know what? At the end of the day, the only thing that matters is your relationship with God. She said, you don't, don't worry about what other people are saying, yada, yada, yada. She said, the thing that matters is your relationship with God. When you pray, you're praying to God. You know what I'm saying? And I, I took that advice and I was so happy she told me that because I didn't want to be, um, and I know my grandmother, I didn't want to be someone that, that come off as disrespectful or ungodly i'm not an ungodly person i i I'm, i pray you know but at the same time I'm, I'm not i'm naive i see things man it's just like these jack tv preachers on tv and asking all these older you know vulnerable people to send in money and all this type of stuff and you got people out there not i'm not gonna name names but you got um uh, it disgusts me to have when pastors have these multi-million dollar homes it it, it I don't give a damn what nobody says that that's a red flag. That's a red flag. That's a red flag. That's a red flag. You got these multi-million dollar homes and you got people coming to your church suffering who are giving you their last dollar that uh, oftentimes could be used to pay their light bill or to put food on the table. So they're giving you their last. And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with with tides. I understand tide. I get it, and I'm not here to knock that. What I'm here to knock is those people that uh, portray to be something they're not. So I think it's important for me to address that. Hey, with that, this is Eric Brown, Mobile Media. I won't get too further into that because it's pretty controversial, but I'll talk more about it later. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.